Hey folks, I'm Hugh from Carol Sausage and Country Store. Cooking is my passion. If you're looking for the best recipes from the farm to the table, then you have come to the right place. So pull up a chair and let's eat. Well, welcome back, folks. Hey, we uh, back in the kitchen. Not in my kitchen. We're up in Atlanta again at the Georgia Grown Test Kitchen. Thanks to Chef Holly so much for letting us come up here and do this today and all those at the Georgia Grown, uh, the staff at Georgia Grown, we're just glad to be here in Atlanta, Georgia, big city, right across from the Capitol. And I've got my good friend here, Jay Lacey, for the Joe Kim's Barbecue Sauce and Catering out of Moultrie, Georgia. Oh, it's good to and, be here. And I'll tell you what, y'all, you guys are staying busy. Oh, they are I mean, staying busy. Y'all have got uh, a catering business that's running wide open and you're following your old sauce right there in Moultrie. Right. And we were talking last night over dinner. Uh, Jay was telling me about how uh, they've actually got their own bottling facility right there. And I guess it's right there in your, uh, at your right. house, in, pretty in much. Moultrie, we have a, uh, it's not at our house, but it's, it's close, a, close yeah, there close anyway. By. Yeah, close so by. it's right there in your hometown. That's right, we package all our own sauces right there in the house. Making it, so, doing it all yourself. That's right. That's, I tell you, that's, that's, uh, that's what we're talking about. When you talk about Georgia grown, we're talking about the real deal right there. That's right. Right at Georgia, Moultrie, Georgia. So. That's right. Well, Jay, uh, and you guys also, y'all do a lot of catering. Uh, Different events. I mean, y'all y'all are doing weddings. Y'all are doing uh, cooking for like, I guess, the young farmers and doing different things right. all the time. So. Yeah, we do events all types, uh, class reunions, weddings. Pretty much, if anybody wants to have a party, we'll show up and do the cooking. What, what do y'all tell me a little bit about that and kind of go into detail about what y'all? Uh, we sp well, we started off cut our teeth on barbecue, but uh, we've expanded um, with the steaks. Um, Pretty much anything they want, you know. We have a wide menu of uh, items we offer. So, y'all do the sides. I mean, y'all do everything. Oh yeah, we do. Baked beans, potato salad, all that's that right. stuff. That's what I tell people: if you want us to come cater, just show up with an appetite, and we'll take care of the rest. There you go. So y'all bring everything you need, set up, break it down, clean up, clean it up. That's right. You know, yeah. that way you can enjoy your event and not worry about cooking and cleaning up. How much trouble would it be if y'all just to show up at my house, like maybe six or seven nights a week, maybe? No, we can, make it, we can make it happen. <laughs> yeah. We can make it happen. Well, hey, um, tell me about your sauce. I mean, y'all, I see your sauce everywhere. I mean, all you got here are several grocery stores. You got some uh, few distributors that are distributing your sauce out across all all over the okay. south and even up north. And uh, of course, we carry your sauce and your seasonings at Carol's. That's right. And have been carrying this for years. We've had y'all sauce for a long time. We've been we've been doing business with y'all for a while, and I love it. We keep it in the refrigerator at home. Well, my dad kind of started off years ago with this, the original. He started off with that and the spicy. You know, several years back, we came up with a rub that we started. And this is a, this one right here is the sweet. It's a brand new product we just we just went on the market with this year. That's good. Right? So, so that's, the sweet, that's, that's the your new one. one. Yeah, that's the, the newest one. one. You know, I haven't tried the sweet one yet. But we're in the Ooh, south and everybody good. likes sweet. So yeah. sweet tea is popular drink figure we need it. So you got the sweet, the regular, and then the, the spicy mm -hmm. top. And the, and the seasoning. Oh, well, good. Man. Right. And y'all were actually up at the Flavor of Georgia. Yeah, uh, a couple years ago, we yeah, uh, and you won, won the barbecue sauce category with our original there you go. Hey, barbecue folks, there sauce. There you go. Good. Flavor of Georgia winner right there. I'm talking about some good stuff, too. Right. I was actually up there the year y'all yeah, won. Yeah, you were. That yep. that you were up there, too. Yeah. So. We were up there. I think we had our medium, Carol's medium smoke link that year. We mm -hmm. won the... We actually got the people's choice of That's so, right, I remember that. Right. We, 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 so, we brought it home, back home south with us when we left up there. We're so, looking forward to maybe trying that flavor of Georgia with sweet sauce. There you go. So I, I think I, it, I mean, I, I'm, I'm anxious to try it myself. Well, you know, we were talking, what, about a week or two ago about this coming up here and doing the show here in uh, at the Georgia Grown Kitchen. And, we didn't know, really know what we wanted to do, and we got to talking about different things. And I guess between the two of us, we decided to do a meatloaf. That's right. Which uh, I love meatloaf, and this man, you were telling me about your meatloaf recipe, and I said, "There we go." I got the ground chuck, and he's got the goods to go in it. So we're going to we're going to mix one up here, um, and we've actually got one already done up. We fixed it up earlier and put it in the oven, so it's just about yeah. ready. We're going to show you guys how to put this thing together. Yeah, we figured this would be a Good recipe for people that cook in their house, maybe didn't like the grill, didn't have a grill, 
you know, something simple. So you can, well, that's the thing, you can you can put this on the grill and cook it. Yeah, you can. smoke or in the oven. Grill yeah. or in the oven. So. Yeah, there you go. What's the temperature on it? About 350 or so? Yeah, on the oven, you know, 350 degrees yeah. and we'll bake it about 45 minutes. Yeah, there you go. Well, I guess we'll start off with the, with the meat first and then add the other stuff. This is some fresh ground chuck that we got from Carol's there in Ashburn. I actually called Randy, my store manager, my market manager there in the back. And he was grinding fresh ground chuck right when I called him, so he, he put me back a few pounds. So I got about three pounds here, if I can get it open, knock everything off. You see we got this wrapped up. We wrap it like this and uh, it's wrapped in freezer paper. So this stuff, folks, when you come in to buy your fresh meat at Carol's, it's freezer ready when you get home. And, you know, of course, I don't I recommend not keeping any fresh meat in the freezer over a few months. You know, that's my recommendation. Try to eat it up. You see that? Look at that. Oh, that look good. Good fresh ground chuck. That's the thing about this stuff that, that we have at Carol's is this, this ground. I mean, we cut up chucks and grind it fresh daily. And we love, you know, if you, if you come in on an order, a big order of ground chuck for your freezer, we'll be glad to wrap it and package it for you any way you want it. One pound packs, half pound packs, two pound packs, whatever. Put it in, you know, have it ready to take it home to put the freezer. All right, we got the chuck ready. All right, so what's next? To the chuck. Cool. Break this up a little bit here. All right. And I got a cup of chopped onion, by day onion, and a cup of chopped bell pepper. You can kind of add anything you want to with it. This is just what we do. Scrape the rest of the layers out. So a cup of onion chopped and a cup of bell pepper chopped. Yeah. Very good. And also we got a cup of bread crumbs, and I use plain unseasoned bread crumbs, but if you want to use, you know, a, a seasoned bread crumb. I've used that. actually, speaking of that, on these put bread crumbs, I have used the seasoned ones, mm -hmm. like the Italian style. Yeah, give it a little more flavor. It does. It does have add a little bit more to it. Okay. And then we're going to add three eggs. Kind of help hold everything together. So three eggs. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this in. All right. Now, you know, most uh, meatloafs calls for ketchup, but you're not going to do ketchup. We're not going to do ketchup. We're going to do, do ketchup. We're going to do a little Joe Kim's twist yeah, on this meatloaf. I'm going to add a little bit of that I'm good seasoning in there. Two tablespoons of the Joe Kim's all purpose rub. And we'll put you know, a little, little extra There you go. Nice. Do y'all just have the one seasoning? Just the one right seasoning. Now? Right now. Well, y'all stay so busy with that. It probably that's probably enough. Yeah. <laughs> we stay so busy catering all. It's, yeah, it takes forever just to have time to try to come up with new products. I'm just you know, hey, y'all see, I got gloves on. I just I'm just hand mixing all this together, all right. get it all mixed in there good, and we'll add it. We're going to use our original barbecue sauce in the meat. We're going to do about a cup. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. Good. Oh yeah. Might have been a little more that instead of the ketchup. That That's takes right. the place of the ketchup. So you wouldn't want to add ketchup to this with the barbecue sauce. No, no, probably ketchup, yeah. Yeah. I made these, uh, I've used your sauce one time I was on a camping trip and we actually made hamburgers and that's, I made the hamburgers up and put them in some oil and uh, Put a little bit of the barbecue sauce in there on it, and just wrapped it up in the foil and cooked them on, the, you know, over a fire like that. Oh man, that was good. There's a lot of different ways to use barbecue sauce, just besides eating it on pork or chicken. Yeah, that's you know. right. I mean, it's you know, that's the thing about y'all sauce. I mean, it is. It's good on. It's good on everything. I mean, it's even good on the fingers. So I'd like. Right that's right. I've even dipped from my shrimp and stuff in y'all sauce before. It's really good. Okay, I got that mixed up there. Let's see. Folks at home can see that they're all blended up nice and neat. We're going to put it in a small baking pan. This is about, that was three pounds of ground chuck too, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that one here or not, but these are little loaf pans. I like using these. This is probably, we've got enough here to do. This will do about two of these. We'll just fix up one for now. And just pack it in here like that. Just pack it in there. Yeah, we've got enough here to do about one more of those. So. And you can use a larger loaf pan if you want to do just one, but I like yeah, the you can, ones. Yeah, well, they cook a little better on they the grill. Do. If you're doing it on the grill, it probably cooks a little bit quicker That's on the right. grill. Just take these gloves off. And if you're doing it on a smoker, like I said, we're going to bake it in the oven on about 45 minutes on 350. It'll take a little longer on the smoker. You know, you just, yeah, I just, just want to get the internal temp to right. 165 or, you know, so. so. All right, well, I'm going to go and pop this in the oven. Right. Like I said, we've already got one. Oh, here we go. We've already got one ready. 
Voila. There we go. Look at that. Man, oh man, oh man. That's looking good right there. And about five minutes before it was done, we glazed it with the sweet barbecue sauce. You know, that took the Just place of the ketchup. Just a little bit over the top, yeah. Takes the place of the ketchup. And so then put it back in the oven for about five minutes, kind of let that set up. Here, Jay, I'll tell you what, if you want to, yeah, if you want to take it out, uh, we'll uh, just set it on that platter right here. See if I can do this without making a mess. There we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to Yeah, I'll take the pies right here. I'll yeah. slice a piece of that up right here. Just so we can kind of see the inside. You got a knife? I got a knife right here. Right. Yeah, here we go. Turn it over, folks. Can see this thing. Yep, yep. All we need now is the baked beans, and potato right. salad. Do y'all do meat? Y'all do meat loaf for catering events too? Oh, uh, we can. We can. Like I said, we can do. Pretty much set that out. Right. Right. Then you can take some of the sweet sauce and you know, top it off. There top you it go. Off if you want a little bit. That's what makes it good. If you like sweet, if you don't like sweet, you can always you do this. Yeah, you can go with the other. Or the spicy. Probably could even take a little spicy and a little sweet and kind of mix it together. Mix it together and right. let it go. That's mm -hmm. right. Man, that's looking good. These folks behind the scenes here are getting their, their, their mouths watered and they're ready. Plus they already got the plates in their hand and everything else. Ready, I'll tell you, ready they're ready, ready to go. <laughs> All right, well. Man, I tell you, it's been nice. Good Appreciate it. Appreciate you being a member of Georgia Grown too. And I know all the people right here at Georgia Grown appreciates it too. Yeah, we, support appreciate we appreciate their having support. Us, having us up. I tell you, it's just great. I'm glad to be here today. I'm, uh, again, I want to thank the, the staff here and uh, for helping us out today. And it's, just, it's nice to be here in Atlanta. And, uh, if anybody needs any catering, they can look us up on yep. Facebook, Instagram, That's or right. on the, the web. website, JoeKimsBBQ.com. JoeKimsBBQ.com. Q.com. Our day always starts early, making sure everything gets done. And every day, Conger LP Gas helps. Life's better with propane. It's reliable, clean, and American made. A full house with our busy schedule and what seems to be never ending laundry. Having enough hot water is important because at the end of the day, there's always enough hot water for me. Hunger LP Gas, fueling your life every day. The freshest meats from the farm to your table. You know it's good when you see that Carol's label. Sausage just like Grandpa used to make. Mouth water and ribs, chops, bacon and steak. Your family's gonna love it, so do yourself a favor. Carol Sausage and Meats, your choice for mealtime flavor. The Georgia Grown logo is a symbol of quality throughout our nation. Georgia is nature's favorite state, where agriculture is the number one business. Learn about agro-tourism, explore unique farming venues, and see where your food comes from on the Georgia Grown Trails. In season, you can purchase fresh Georgia produce and other fine Georgia-grown products. Help grow Georgia's economy and support your neighbors by purchasing products with the Georgia-grown logo. Goods of Pecans is your family-owned source known for growing pecans with exceptional taste and quality. Now introducing a variety of all-natural pecan butters alongside their toasted gourmet treats. Taste for yourself their flavors of cinnamon, sugar, sea salt, and brand new sriracha. Don't forget to put pecan butter on your shopping list this season. And remember to shop Georgia Grown. Visit GoodsOfPecans.com to learn more about the products, view recipes, and to purchase pecans and pecan butter for your family. Welcome back, folks. Hey, we're back in the kitchen today, in the Georgia Grown Test Kitchen, in Atlanta, yeah. Georgia. Excited. Here, the uh, Department of Agriculture building. I tell you what, a beautiful, beautiful place this is up here. Yeah. And just a great day to be in Atlanta. And uh, special guest here with me today, David Goodson from Goodson Pecans, and son Drew, all the way up from Leesburg, Georgia. Yes. And, uh, a bit of a drive for us. Y'all have been very busy. I mean, it's been a, a, a busy pecan season for you this year. Uh, you had a good harvest. Yes, good harvest. Having a good year. harvest. Now we we have suffered a lot from the storms. 
Yeah. Um, so uh, it, it has not been the best harvest by any means. Pecan um, trees don't like a lot of wind, and especially hurricanes and tornadoes and that kind of stuff. Right. So exactly I believe me, right. I know I lost one in my, my yard. Actually, wow. one of our 100-year-old pecan trees went down. So it was, you know, that was, uh, uh, luckily it fell the other way, not on the house. Wow. So we didn't That's suffer good. any major damage, but we did lose a nice pecan tree. But, you know, it comes along with it, I guess. Well, David, you know, it's good, good to have you on the show today. Great um, to be here. You have gotten, I mean, every time I talk to you or see you at these shows or different places, you've gotten a new product. New pro you're adding on new products all the time. You're constantly uh, testing new things. And I think I called you, I called and talked to you the other day, and you were actually in the kitchen doing some testing on some new products that yeah. day. And they said, oh, he's busy. He's in here working on something new. So anyway, <laughs> but uh, I know you were talking earlier, you won a good flavor, or you're in a finalist for a good flavor award coming yeah, up? Yeah, we're that? a finalist the Good Food Awards, Good which food is a, award, yeah. a nationally recognized um, uh, food contest through an organization called the Good Food Guild, and they look for they they want to know they they want to know uh, they want to make sure that you understand uh, and have the uh, they want to know that you know where all your products come from, and so if you're a grower, they want to know your practices, and then if you um, source like we source honey for some of our pecan butters, we source it. Um, from Bruce's Honey Shack, and they want to know that you know that uh, grower, uh, or in our case, the, the beekeeper, and that you can trace those steps and that they have good practices. So they're very good about local and um, knowing where your products come from and the quality of the products that you're getting uh, from. So um, it's been a huge honor for us to be recognized for the Good Food Awards. Now, which one of your products was that? Recognized? That was our honey cinnamon pecan butter. Which one so, is this? Uh, this is this one right here. This one? Yep. So it's it is uh, it has been uh, actually won the grand prize for the flavor of Georgia uh, in 2018, and then it's also uh, the one that has uh, been nominated as a finalist for the Good Food Awards. Mm -hmm. Pecan butter is that it's really I mean it's good on a lot of different things. It is. It is. I, I mean, have you tried this on sweet potato, like putting some mixing it into We've a sweet potato? We've not personally tried it, but I've I've told some folks that have. You know, yeah, asked I, if it would be good, and I think it would be fantastic. I love sweet potatoes. Yes. In fact, I grew I grew a lot of sweet potatoes this year in my garden, so I'm gonna. That's definitely something. I'm well, gonna it could be your own version of a sweet potato souffle. Yeah, or that's right. Yeah, so. I bet it is. Well, now you're a member of Georgia Grown. Yes, and grateful to be a member of Georgia Grown. That has really been good. I mean, yeah. I, I joined Georgia Grown, gosh, several several years ago yeah. when it first first uh, when they first started the program. And it's been That's very, it's been very successful, and yeah. it has been very uh, helpful for me. And it's also, I mean, it, it gets you a lot of exposure, and it gets it, there's so many different things that, that people don't realize about the Georgia Grown program that are yeah. that are so beneficial. I mean, you got different shows that you get to go to. I mean, there's just so many things there that are using the Georgia Grown logo. Well, David, tell us a little bit about now what you got here today. You're, you're going to do a, a, a recipe using some of your yes. pecan butter, What this regular pecan butter. Yeah, this is going to be just our creamy. We have several different varieties of pecan butter. We do the gourmet flavors, so we have everything from sugary and sweet ones, uh, like a new one for us this year, sweet orange. We also have the basics like cinnamon sugar. We also do a sriracha, spicy ranch. Uh, we love to kind of think outside the box and, and a lot of our flavors to uh, introduce people to these and, and hopefully drive uh, people to pecans even more. But in addition to those, we do our pecan butters. And so think peanut butter or almond butter, but made completely with pecans. And so we do everything from a creamy and crunchy, that's no added sweeteners at all to it, just uh, toasted pecans and sea salt. Um, those are great, it's a great source of fats. And then it's also- It's a good snack. It is, it's a very good snack. Um, people on specific diets, it can be great for those or again, just a well-rounded um, snack idea. Um, in addition to that, we do a creamy with honey and then a honey cinnamon, and then we have uh, dessert types like a fudge butter. That's, mm -hmm. that's really, really good. But today, a lot of people ask us, how, what do we do with pecan butter? And um, Chef Holly, uh, she has been a huge help at helping introduce people to different ideas and ways to use pecan butter. And today I wanna introduce, uh, just share with y'all about a, an idea that we love to do at home, and it's pecan butter energy bites. And so these are great snacks um, it's just a very, very simple ingredients, but uh, when you get a hunger pain, you can pop a couple of these in your mouth and they will curb that hunger pain. It's very, all this stuff is very, very good for you. And so I want to just walk you through the recipe. Uh, it's really simple to do. My oldest daughter loves to do it. Um, she makes them regularly at home. So, but it just starts out with a um, cup of uh, oatmeal. And sometimes my 
my Hannah that makes it, she'll she'll chop these up and get them uh, a little bit uh, uh, finer. But uh, but again, start out with a cup of dry oats, and then you want to add in. Uh, you can do any of our butters to it, but I like to use the, uh, the this is just creamy, um, and again, just toasted pecans and sea salts in there. So a great one to use with that. Now this this is if you want to do a, uh, I guess. A, Rather than a peanut butter and jelly, you could use this in you could. place. So that That's it right. It's a good That's right. pecan butter. That's right. It's, it's a little thinner than a Jif or a Skippy, but there's no added like emulsifiers to it at all. It's all natural and it is very. And for those who are allergic to peanuts, That's right. This is an alternative. This is very much. That. We make it in our facility in Leesburg, and it's completely peanut free, um, in, in with our butters. So in addition to this, uh, I like that we add a half a cup of uh, chocolate chips. And so you can do other things like coconut or cranberries. You can add anything like that that you'd want to in addition or instead of. Um, but we love the chocolate chips at our house. And then we also do a half a cup of flax seed. And this is going to provide a, just a really good source of your omega um, fatty acids um, and just uh, also a good source of fiber as well. So this is part of what I think helps it feel that's, very yeah, good. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's what fills you up. Yeah, and then I also add a third of a cup of um, Honey and uh, my son Drew here is showing. We love to use Bruce's Honey Shack honey. Uh, it is fantastic. Um, we I prefer like the orange blossom, but any of the honey varieties are great. In it. And so we add a third of a cup of that um, to this recipe as well. Drew, what do you do back at the shop? You you do a lot of they keep you busy there too. Yes, sir. I do a lot of the packaging and uh, the making of the pecans. And so we'll be out back in the kitchen making some cinnamon sugar or the butters and then we also have our packaging and we'll be labeling and all that kind of stuff. Getting it ready for the store, huh? Yes, sir. And then Drew travels with me to a lot of shows. I see so. you everywhere you go, you're at the show. So <laughs> yes, that's sir. Good. I tell folks he's a better salesman than I am. So the last thing we'll add in here is a teaspoon of vanilla and it just vanilla. adds a little bit of flavor to it. Like vanilla extract? That's right, it's vanilla extract. Add all those together, mix them really well. You just kind of blend that together and, yep. and uh, I, you kind of spoon those out and make That's them. right. Once we do it, I get a, uh, I get a, a little um, yeah, scooper kind of scoop here up. and it's a smaller scooper. It makes perfect, um, it does a great job with it, but it's real easy to blend got, all these together. I've got some already yeah. done up here. They're great. Well, that's looking good. Yeah. Well, that good, folks. But you'll get it, and it, well, I recommend keeping these in the refrigerator because they will hold together. Together, they will hold. hold they will together. hold together better. Uh, so yeah, but just once they're all everything's better if it's held together. Right? That's right. It is. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so this is good. Yeah, and once you do it, like you get these scooped up and plop them out there, and then put them on top of the plate, and they're ready yep. to go. Sounds good, man. I can't wait to try some of these. Well, they are good. They're again. They're they're some of our uh, family's favorites. Good. Well, folks, there you have it. Goods and pecans. All these products are available at Carroll Sausage and Country Store, as well as Goods and Store yep. and we're uh, online Leesburg, as well. Yep. And online Goods and other pecans. Com. I mean, you're in a lot of locations. You're in we a lot are. of different places. So, just look for these products out when you're out and about. Makes yep. a great gift. Healthy. And if you can't eat. The peanuts is it's an alternative to, to the peanuts. Yeah, it is. If you're allergic to peanuts, so David, hey, thank man, you I so much. I appreciate it. I know y'all got a long way to head back down to Leesburg. Well, we appreciate the opportunity to come as to always. Say a special thanks to Chef Holly and the, and the Georgia Grown staff here in Atlanta for allowing us to be here today at the uh, Ad Dealer for the kitchen. We definitely appreciate that. Look forward to being back up here again real soon. Yep. Drew, you have a good one, buddy. You be safe. Yes, Keep dead your weight going home, man. I'll try. to sleep on that road. <laughs> Y'all won't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Have you heard about the great Georgia-grown oils and flowers made by Oliver Farm in Pitts, Georgia? This family-owned and operated business are pioneers in the field and are proud to offer you freshly pressed, straight-off-the-farm cooking oils. Use them like you would any other oil. Great for marinades, dressings, sautéing, frying, and grilling. Check out our webpage, oliverfarm.com, and see what we have to offer. Then pick up a bottle at Carol's for your next cooking adventure.
wind down your weekday at Gin Creek Vineyards. Step inside the old pack house to sample any of our 13 wines. Can't get to Gin Creek? Gin Creek wines are now available at your local package store, making it even more convenient for you to relax and enjoy your weekday wind down with a sip of history from Gin Creek Vineyards. The freshest meats from the farm to your table. You know it's good when you see that Carol's label. Sausage just like Grandpa used to make. Mouth water and ribs, chops, bacon, and steak. Your family's gonna love it, so do yourself a favor. Carol Sausage and Meats, your choice for mealtime flavor. The Georgia Grown logo is a symbol of quality throughout our nation. Georgia is nature's favorite state, where agriculture is the number one business. Learn about agro-tourism, explore unique farming venues, and see where your food comes from on the Georgia-grown trails. In season, you can purchase fresh Georgia produce and other fine Georgia-grown products. Help grow Georgia's economy and support your neighbors by purchasing products with the Georgia-grown logo. This is Business Spotlight. It's been 30 years since all of this started, and boy, have they grown. They being Carol Sausage and Meat Company, and Hugh Hardy is the CEO, and you oversee everything, and you check behind your people, and as far as the meats and everything. But I want to do a little walk back in time, if we can, with history. How did all this start for you? Well, I, I purchased the company back in 2001, and um, we have just taken it. It started off in Sycamore, Georgia, and we've yeah. taken it since then, and we have just grown and uh, to you know, this huge store right here on Interstate 75 in Ashburn, mm -hmm. um, and also our store there in Sylvester, Georgia, yeah. right on Highway 82. We built our business based on good quality products mm -hmm. and, and most of all, customer service. Our, our employees, uh, you know, they love our customers, they love waiting on people, and you know, mm -hmm. so that's, that's yeah. you know, those, all those things combined has helped us to grow. And, Expand. Yeah. You know, and people come because you started out as focusing on meats. Of course, you've got thousands of products in this main store where we are today in Ashburn. But your meat counter, people are just amazed. They'll go, they'll walk from one end where the beef is all the way all to the way other to the, end to the sausage. Yeah. But your type of meats that you pick and choose, if you will, and your recipes, that's what separates you from a lot of the other guys in the business, right? Yep, exactly. We make a lot of our products right here in house. All of our sausages are made right here. We make a couple, two or three different kinds mm -hmm. of bacons. We have, uh, we do our own stuffed jalapenos and our stuffed mushrooms. We make about 50 varieties of sausage, yeah. anywhere from mild to hot to jalapeno and cheese. Yeah, about Mild day yeah. onion and cheese was our flavor of Georgia winter in 2017. And uh, medium smoked hit the People's Choice Award in yeah. 2016. So okay. a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that was then, this is now. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Plan to spend a couple hours in here. Bring oh, your yeah. cooler. Definitely, okay. bring a big right. cooler. Thanks, you.